I am so excited to bring this to you today. This is a new amplifier by EMA. It's not very expensive. It's about $70 to $80, and it's all about power. Let's go and take a look at this, because this uses that new TPA3255 chip. All right guys, so this is a new IEMA 3255. Now this is pretty interesting. It does come with a power supply and it is a relatively big power supply. We're gonna get more into that in just a minute. It also comes with a sticker. It does come with the amplifier. Now the amplifier itself is pretty basic looking. It's all aluminum. Uh, it's actually really nicely made. It does have some nice rubber feet on the bottom, but when you look at it, it's pretty basic. I mean, it has a volume control. I do like the fact that it does have some numbers showing you where you are in correlation to turning up the volume, as well as some little dots to indicate that. So it does show you 15, 30, 45, and 60 on the volume knob. It does have a metal power switch that turns it on and off. And on the back, once again, very little into it. It's got an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter input and a right and left aux input, as well as your normal binding posts that you would hook up your speaker wire to and of course your power input. You look at this and you think it's kind of basic and, and it is when you really think about it. And that's because IEMA is really only after one thing with this amplifier and that's power. Uh, the way I look at it is it's kind of like a high-end sports car. You know how sometimes you miss out on those luxuries on a high-end sports car? Maybe it doesn't have your CD player, who has a CD player anyway, but it may not have your radio, it may not have your cup holders. It's missing out on some of those other items that you would consider you know, more luxurious that you would typically have in other cars. And that's because it's after one thing, it's after speed. And for lack of a better correlation, that's kind of what this amplifier is about too. It is all about power and giving you the maximum power for your money. This thing is supposed to be able to be capable of 300 watts by two. That's a 600 total watts of power in just this little package. And because of that, just like a high-end automobile, it lacks certain features doesn't have Bluetooth, it doesn't have any Wi-Fi streaming capabilities, it doesn't have a DAC, it literally just has that input of the RCA and it, the aux input. Now just because this is all about power doesn't mean that you can't get some of those other amenities. In fact, you can. I reviewed the IEMA Tube T6 preamp not too long ago and this would plug up right to that and that would give you all your other amenities like your DAC and your Bluetooth and all your other things and I think tested really well. So I would probably pair that up with something like this if you're looking at for the power and you still want these other features as well. Let's kind of talk about this because it does talk about power and giving you loads of it. And that's because it uses Texas Instruments new TPA3255 chip. This has been a chip that people have been very excited about because it offers that power potential that other chips just can't offer. So obviously they're gonna give you a good power supply, right? They do give you a good power supply and the power supply is a 32 volt, five amp power supply. But if we do the math on that, that's only 160 watts. That means 80 watts at your left and 80 watts at your right. That's a far cry from the 300 by 300. And one of the things I do appreciate that IEMA did is on their Amazon page where they sell this, they are very clear with you that that is the power that you're getting. And they're very clear with you that if you want more, you're gonna need a different power supply. And that's important to note because if you want the maximum power, you're gonna have to get a 600 watt power supply. Having said that, I wouldn't recommend it. And here's the reason why. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Texas Instruments data sheet for the 3255. Now, if we take a look at this, they're gonna show you a line that is a four ohm and a line that is an eight ohm speaker. So depending on which one you're gonna be hooking up, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this. This shows wattage on the bottom and distortion on your left hand side. What you're gonna to wanna to notice is distortion goes all the way up to 10%. And if we look at it, when they say it can do 300 watts, that's at 10% distortion. And well, that's pretty high, so you don't want it up at that 600 wattage range. Instead, if you take a look at it, it looks like at least on a forum speaker, you're looking at closer to 180 watts before really the distortion goes crazy. So for something like that, I would probably recommend around a 400 watt power supply. I'll try to link one in the description for you so you don't have to go look for it. That's probably gonna be a regulated power supply. It's not gonna be like a laptop power supply. But with a power supply like that, you'll still be able to get a good distortion rating and still be able to get quite a bit of power. That would be about 180 watts per speaker, which in a form factor like this with that low of distortion, 
I can't think of very many that do that. So for me, the reason why you would buy this IEMA A07 is for one reason only, and that's if you really want uh, the major power. So maybe you have some uh, speakers that aren't very sensitive, or maybe you have some speakers with some really big drivers in it, some 12 inch or 15 inch woofers and you really want to get them moving. Maybe something like a the Soundstage 15, which doesn't need anything like this, but man, I could see it doing some pretty cool damage with something like this as well. So you know, if you're looking for an amplifier like that, this is where you're going to be buying it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can get other videos like this. As for now, I'm Toys DIY Audio, and I'm out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here.